My name is Wendy Kemp. I'm the manager of water resources and I'm a hydrogeologist. I'm passionate about my job because I drink water and you drink water and my children drink water. So I really have a concern to make sure that it's clean and safe for everyone. It has a large impact on a lot of people. The duties of a hydrogeologist at the region of York, you're responsible for looking at development applications to see if there's anything in there that may impact the, our ability to take water, both from a quality and from a quantity perspective, so how much water they take and whether their activity might um, contaminate the groundwater. So that's one piece, and the second, I guess the second most important piece is the monitoring. So we have a lot of data on groundwater levels and on chemistry, and so we're checking to make sure that there are consistent trends that we would expect, that things aren't declining, or, or uh, that may impact our ability to provide drinking water to our residents. A hydrogeologist uh, goes out in the field and uh, looks at different geological layers to see how water flows through the earth. It's an art more than a science in that you're trying to pull a lot of things that you can't really see all in one spot. So for hydrogeology, you can't see below the surface. So you, you have this drill or this, this core that tells you in this location we have this and this and this geology, but uh, you have to use your imagination to sort of interpret the rest of the, the surface. You can work for a municipality, you can work for uh, the provincial government, the federal government, so all levels of government. You can work for an agency, so a conservation authority. You can work for uh, an environmental group. You can work for agricultural or uh, an aggregate company or a mining company. Most people have a master's degree. Master's of science is typically what you see, or engin engineering route. Uh, it's a math and science dependent program. Um, but can be environmental science. I, I came from an environmental science background, so same idea. And then in terms of experience, usually you need four years of experience in order to get your professional designation. I think there is a really big need for hydrogeologists. I know when I recruit for positions, I have a difficult time trying to find the right fit for our team. The most challenging piece of my job is probably how broad the subject area is. As much as I like it, it's, it's a challenge because you, you need to be sort of an expert in a lot of different areas. So it can be um, a little too broad in some. I would say uh, there's lots of opportunity for advancement for a hydrogeologist. You can start off as a junior hydrogeologist and then move up to senior and then likely to a partner or even to a director sort of level. So the best experience that I have had to date was a uh, being an OMB expert at a, at a hearing where I had to provide evidence as to why I felt that this development could go forward and not impact our production wells. And it was uh, one of the best experiences because I had to really simplify and explain things to people who didn't necessarily know everything about hydrogeology. Well, I think it's fun because I get to go outside and work outside and work with nature and I get to work with people. So those two things for me make it a lot of fun.